Hi guys. So, some of you have been asking how I make the wooden canvases. Um, basically, I get this MDF. It's a quarter inch thick. You could go thicker, but the half inch is really thick. Uh, so I just use a quarter inch. There's an eighth inch, but I've discovered, like you saw in the Halloween Boo video, it tends to bubble. Um, so the quarter inch is what I use for the moon. I didn't have too many problems with the bubbling at all. So um, we got, me and Laura got a custom order from, for another tree with a moon, uh, just a different size. So all I did was um, I cut this MDF um, to three feet by a foot and a half. And then <clears throat> I cut, um, these are one by two plywood. Um, so I just cut them so that they go around the border and at a 45 degree angle on the edges. And so basically, it'll make a big square. <laughs> I'm not a carpenter by any means, but anyways, if my cuts aren't horrible, it'll kind of go like that. <laughs> so I have some wood glue, um, carpenter's glue, and these are just one inch finishing nails um, to nail it all in. So you'll need a hammer and some wood glue and the finishing nails. So you can pretty much pick all this stuff up at the hardware store. <clears throat> um, but yeah, basically all I pretty much do is I'm gonna line up one of these sides. <laughs> um, I put a little bit of wood glue on the end and then I attach these together like that and then I just kind of nail a uh, finishing nail in so it's nothing super fancy you can kind of see how small the finishing nails are so I'm just gonna pull a few out and work on this side here so I just add the glue I find will just help in the end um, to hold it together and then what I'll do is after I make the frame I just flip it over and I nail the MDF to the frame so all I'm gonna do is I put a little bit of wood glue on there <laughs> and then I just kind of Put these two pieces together at their 45 degree angle. <laughs> Gonna get some glue on myself, obviously. So the tricky part is kind of holding it. I know some people there are fancy, um, I'm sure there's some fancy stuff to hold, to hold the corners together. I just don't have any of that stuff, so I kind of just push it in there or I can nail it in a little bit ahead of time. So it stays. And then just while I'm holding it, like I said, I'm not really a professional carpenter. <laughs> and I'm trying to do this on video. Whereas normally, I would probably, let's just see here, I'm going to go this way, it might be easier for me, because I am right handed. <laughs>
Okay. So that's totally going in crooked, which sucks. <laughs> I'm sure there's other people out there that can build this much better than I can, but I'm going to try and start one off straighter. So. Okay, so that's basically what I do for the corners. Um, nothing too fancy. <laughs> I could put two nails in now that it's kind of together, so it'll be a bit easier. So. Yeah, so anyways, that's kind of how I make the frames. Um, like I said, they're not super fancy. I'm sure there's carpenters out there squealing, but <laughs> um, I'm going to keep going. And then we'll see, because I think I might have cut this too long. So I might have to shave a little off, but anyways, it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to do this corner and see how that works. I mean, if you get it some of the glue on the MDF, I wouldn't really worry about it. It's, uh, it can be fine. Yeah. Okay, that one went a lot better. <laughs> Second time's a charm. Um, so I'll put two in here. So it is a little bit malleable, um, which works. Sorry. <laughs> so just seeing how that lines up, it lines up pretty good with the edge. Now I'm going to see how I did on this side. Doesn't look too bad. So... Okay, those are in there, and that makes up the frame. Let's see if we're still filming. Yep. <laughs> so I also made a 
brace for the middle. Um, <coughs> just to support the middle of the board. Um, so, because the resin does get quite heavy. So, what I should do is figure out the middle. So that's pretty much the middle right there. And all I'm going to do is put some wood glue on the ends and nail them in. I'm just putting wood glue on the end. Okay, guys, there's my frame. Let's just see how it's looking. Looking good. So, um, basically, that's a simple frame. I might put some cross braces right here as well. So, but that's just one by twos with 45 degree angles nailed together, some wood glue. Now I'm going to flip it over and nail the MDF to it. Okay, so... Take these off. I guess they also call this stuff hardboard. MDF, hardboard, whatnot. So I just kind of line up the edges. So that they're nice and straight. And then all I do, basically, guys, I'm going to move this in is I just take the finishing nails and I just I put a few basically straight down and you just want to make sure they're super flush don't worry you won't see that because the paint goes right over it so I just put a whole bunch in and it's super flush right there so that's going to hold that down.
Okay, so that is pretty much the canvas. So you can see the back. Um, yeah, it's looking really good. And I might do some cross braces with the 1x2, but that's pretty much how I build them. Um, it's pretty simple. <laughs> so you just need to be able to cut uh, 45 degree angles. And actually I missed a step because usually I glue the hardwood onto the 1x2, but it's in there pretty good with with the um, nails so I'm not too worried I might do it with the cross braces but yeah sorry I forgot a step I put glue along the whole side before I put the MDF on but anyways <laughs> so that is basically guys how I build a wooden frame now you might see that it's not super level here but that's okay, the top is actually level, it's just the one by twos that are kind of warped. But when it hangs on the wall, it'll be okay. So, and then basically I cover the whole thing in gesso, and because any um, wooden surface that's unfinished like this, you want to cover it with some kind of gesso or something because it gives it a good tooth for the paint to stick to. So, um, basically what we're going to do is I'm going to do the moon on one side and then Laura's going to do a tree with some driftwood with a little tree on the other side. So I think it's going to look really pretty. So that is how to build a wooden canvas the simple way. <laughs> Not super fancy, but it works. So I just want to say thanks guys for subscribing, watching, liking, and commenting and stay tuned for some more videos and please check out the links in the description if you use my amazon links they help me out a little bit and i really really appreciate it you guys are awesome thanks so much